Look, I think what a lot of people outside South Africa maybe don't realize is just how good Dirkus is on the ground. Um, I mean, I remember watching both of you, uh, so Dirkus competing, and I think you were cornering um, him at the Submission Kings event, the local event, where he took out an entire Gracie Baja team single-handedly. And that's when he wasn't even oxygenated, um, for lack of a better term. I honestly think just from a grappling point of view, obviously there's everything combined in MMA, and I think he's up there with everything in MMA. But just from a grappling point of view, I think a lot of people don't understand that there's probably not many people, if anyone, that stacks up with him on a grappling standpoint um, in that middleweight division. Is that the way you see it as well, um, just from a, a grappling point of view? And maybe not too much for this fight, without giving, obviously, too much away um, for the fight that's coming up. Look, um I think from from my perspective, I might be biased, but um, like you say, the Submission Kings was quite a, that tournament was quite interesting. Um, I was coaching the team at that, uh, through that event. And um, he, like you said, did it take out the whole team. I think Trickus is well versed in, in all aspects of the game. Um, if it's, if it's going to be a striking fight, um, he's got, the necessary tools to to um, to get the job done. If it's going to be uh, wrestling, scrambling, again, um, there's no lack of, of skills there to get the job done there. Um, similar on the ground, I think people don't necessarily understand just how good he is um, because he's not a, a pure grappler necessarily. He's an MMA fighter. Um, but he can hang with the best people uh, with regards to jiu-jitsu, in my opinion, in the world. Um, so I'm, I think from, from our perspective, we need to prepare as a coaching team. We need to prepare for, for all those aspects and be uh, ready and able to take the fight wherever the fight, you know, we feel or Drikas uh, will feel in the moment where the fight has to go. And, and he has to have a way of, of winning the fight in any one of those areas, be it then striking, wrestling, or, or you know, jets on the ground. So um, there's no one skill set that I would say nowadays you can't, you can't really um, fight like that anymore. I think that that's more the old guard where people were uh, heavy in one skill and then the other skills were kind of brought up to a, to a, a level where... Um, they would be able to to navigate it, but nowadays the amalgamation of everything, you know, how dynamically you can put everything together, that's the that's the new breed of fighters, and and that's definitely where Drikas, um, you know, is um, as a fighter um, in his skill set. So, do I rate his groundwork? Yes, one hundred percent. Do I think he's world class in grappling? Yes, I do. Um, but he chose to be an MMA fighter, and he and he needs to be able to to go wherever the fight has to go to get the win um, and that's that's basically um, how we see it hey guys if you enjoyed that clip i've got another one for you over here and over here please don't forget to subscribe over here and have a look at my other socials down in the description box below thanks for watching